In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to turn a coffee cup into a fun little notebook. I'm gonna start by adding some watercolor to the outside here. Um, my watercolor isn't that watery, but perhaps I'll try that in a second. Try not to think too hard about what I'm painting. The more I let go and just make some marks, the more I I surprise myself and um, I end up really liking it. So I think I'm gonna try kind of like a wet on wet here and see what happens. So I'm gonna get some of this wet first, even though there's a little paint in it. And then I'm going to add about adding some black sumi ink but I can't find my black sumi ink right now so I'm going to cut it and see how I can create a notebook out of this so I'm gonna just cut and evaluate it once uh, once I cut it um, apart here so I think I'll cut the bottom off All of these cutoffs from the paper that I use I cut it I cut my paper down for my little mini jotter notebooks and end up with pieces like this so since they're all the same size and I have a lot of them I just keep them on hand to create uh, little signatures out of and these are great for projects like this one where I'm just kind of experimenting and playing Looks like I can fold this up to me go a little bit further. And then this will be my flap or my closure that I can kind of like a wrap almost. All right, I'm gonna trim these down just a little bit so that I can fit both of them in there. So right now it's about two and a quarter. Maybe I'll do two inches. And then I'm just gonna fold this to create my signature. All right, here's my, here's my book binding box. Just gonna get my punching board, my awl, and I also have this thread, which is the cutoff, which are the cutoffs from a lot of my other bookbinding projects. I think I'll use the salmon color and the rust orange color. 
And I'm gonna keep this really simple and I'm not even going to measure. I'm just gonna do two holes. Maybe one right here and one right here. And I'll do the similar spacing for this one. So maybe one probably there, one about there. So I'll just clip this one here for now. That way I can line up this one. I'm gonna thread one color. And I'm gonna stitch this signature on. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see. Once I have my signature lined up, I'm going to put my needle through one of the holes. And then I'm going to put my needle through the other hole. And then I'm gonna pull this out. And since I punched a hole through this one, I know where it is located. And that's it. All you need to do is take the needle off, make sure it's nice and tight, and tie a knot. I'll trim this, and then I'll stitch this one on. Punch with my needle through one of the holes. Take it back out through the other hole. put my needle back through this hole, leave a little tail, make sure this is nice and tight, and then tie a knot. wax linen thread that I'm using which is really great for book binding. So on the inside it looks like this. I have my two signatures and then on the outside it has these two stitches. Super simple. Very satisfying. Okay. I'm going to do a hole right through here and I'm going to do an, elast an elastic closure. So about maybe right about here. This is the back. I'm going to estimate how much I need. I'm gonna cut it just a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna feed both ends through this hole from the outside in. Sometimes you need to make the hole a little bit bigger. Okay. Then I'm going to close it up, wrap this around, and hopefully I can find these ends so that I can tighten it up. So I'm just pulling on the ends until I get it how tight I want it to be. That's about good, I think. So I'm gonna carefully take this off. I'm gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna tie a double knot. Nice and tight. That way the knot won't slip through and I'll just trim these ends. That it looks like this. There we go. 
when I find myself wanting to add another detail to one of these little books, I like to pull out an old book. And I like to find some words or word to put on the cover. So I'm gonna flip through and see what I can find. I'm just gonna cut out a few words and then I'll see what happens when I put them together. I decided what I wanted for the words on the cover. The fierce heart wandered from place to place of utter surprise. And here it is. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more book binding and paper videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.